Understanding the point of runoff when spraying. Many crop protection labels refer to spraying to the point of runoff, but what exactly does that mean? It's when spray starts to run off the surface of a leaf or bunch. Understanding this is important for effective and efficient spraying, as tree and vine crop chemical label rates are determined using the point of runoff volume for a canopy at each stage in a season to calculate the mixing rate. Point of runoff can be tricky to identify, as the outer canopy always captures more spray droplets than the inner canopy. This means setting up the sprayer to apply even coverage throughout the canopy is critical. To determine the point of runoff or level of wetness for your canopy, you need to consider the following. The dilute spray volume is determined by establishing the point of runoff for each canopy size and density at every key spray timing. An important consideration to note is, for concentrate spraying, the dilute volume still needs to be established in order to calculate the concentration factor. The point of runoff should be estimated between the evenness of canopy wetness. The leaves closest to the sprayer will usually show signs of runoff before the inner parts of the vine canopy. The aim is to achieve adequate coverage of the inner canopy before runoff begins on the outer canopy by adjusting spray equipment correctly. Aim spray nozzles from the top, middle and bottom to create turbulence to aid spray distribution. Keep in mind, the point of runoff has not been reached if the inner canopy is mostly dry, even if spray solution is dripping from outer leaves. Droplet size will have an influence on estimating the point of runoff. Remember, it is generally more difficult to thoroughly wet a vine canopy using fine droplets. When targeting bunches, the point of runoff should be based on the level of wetness and coverage of berries. Water-sensitive paper, kale and clay or fluorescent dye can be used to assess the evenness of coverage throughout the canopy. However, direct visual observation of the canopy immediately after spraying is necessary to estimate the point of runoff. A common pitfall is growers underdosing by using their concentrate spray volume for the label mixing rate. Label rates are based on dilute spraying water volumes and are often two to three times the concentrate spray volume, so using the wrong rate can lead to significant underdosing. High volume dilution rates depend on excellent coverage of the entire target. If lower than point of runoff water volumes are used in conjunction with dilute spray mixing rates, significant underdosing will occur, increasing the chance of products performing poorly. When using water volumes lower than the point of runoff, the product mixing rate should be increased to apply the same volume of chemical per hectare or per 100 metres of row. For example, if your actual spray volume is half of what you would use to reach point of runoff, then you should double the labelled mixing rate per 100 litres of water. For more information on the point of runoff, visit growersedge.com.au.